Hello the people of the universe, this is the Game Wizard and welcome back to another video. And today in this video, we are once again going to be playing Minecraft Communities, as we so often are on this channel. Um, so yeah, let's get straight on with it. We've got, uh, into it, sorry. Uh, we've got quite a lot of stuff to get done today. Uh, so let's jump off here. And let's just quickly skip this, because, so, since this episode, uh, since the last episode, there's been a big update to the game. When I say big, it's essentially like the second half of the Village and Pillage update. Um, because, yeah, it is. <laughs> um, so, they changed the villages and stuff. So, the dock looks really weird now. Um, so I thought we'd go and say hello to him quickly, just to have a look at his new style. Uh, and hello, Doc. How are you? Hello, Doc. Doc. Uh, hello. Hello. Yeah, as you can see, he has got a bit of a funny hat on, but I reckon it suits you, Doc. And, like, he's still sort of kept with the white, uh, like, lab coat, I'm gonna say, uh, you had going on before. Uh, it's a little bit different, but I reckon I'll get used to your new style. Uh, he also seems to have done a little bit of decorating, and I'm scared to go anywhere near this thing in case it chops me in half. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna stay away from this dock. Uh, very nice place you got there. <laughs> um, just gonna leave it through here, and I'll see you uh, a bit later. But do you wanna do you wanna go and see whether Igor has changed at all, or maybe Fredwick even? Because like, if they have, that's gonna be a little bit of a shame. And also, I want to quickly check how the mushroom farm is doing. Um, because I haven't checked that in a while. Um, I'm not sure whether it's expanded at all. But I don't think this light's supposed to be there. But there's a weird light source coming from down there. Which is probably what's stopping it from growing. Um, seems to be a hole. If I break this away... Uh, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> um... Because they need to be in pitch darkness, unless I think, unless they're on coarse dirt, which might be a, a worthy thing to try and guess at some point. I uh, just try and make that a little bit more efficient. Then we can probably light it up so then no mobs end up spawning and killing me whenever I go in there. Ah, uh, but hey, what can you do? So, uh, where's Igor and Fredwick's room? Here we go. Um, so, hello Fredwick, you don't seem to have changed. Has your armour changed at all? Your armour is looking very blue today, Fredwick. It really brings out the colour of your eyes, which is black. Um, but yeah, you're looking really good today, Fredwick. And, um, Igor seems to be gone. Uh, gone back to Soviet Russia. Be back soon. Okay, so... Um, I assume he's gone on a bit of a holiday then. So, Frederick, I guess this is all your room now then? Um, yeah. He didn't really tell me about that, but I guess he's gone on holiday, so... Yeah, let's, um, I'll leave you to it, Frederick, whatever you're doing. Um, seems to be just doing a little bit of mountain climbing. Um, but yeah, let's get back, uh, well, not get back to it, but let's carry on with building the pet shop uh we're not gonna uh yeah we're hopefully gonna get it all done in this video uh because we only really need to do the inside and the inside's not that hard to do um but yeah so i'm hoping that we'll get it all finished uh within this video because in the last video we actually got quite a lot more done than i was expecting uh but let's go and feed the dogs because i have restocked on all their foods so let's run through here Let's go and grab this steak for you, loyalty. Let's go and grab this for you, Gracie. Let's go and grab this for you, Lello. And let's go and grab this for you, Rosie. And let's go and feed it there too. Can I pick you up? I can't. I really can't pick you up, so can I? That's a bit annoying. Don't know why. I'll hopefully find out in the future. But for now, I guess I'm just gonna be leaving them there. Um, so let's run up here and not just walk into the thing. Um, so essentially, what we're gonna be doing is we need to build the floor, but because it's a very like it's a very big open 
uh, like empty room. So that means there, there are a lot of mobs spawning and I don't really want to have torches everywhere. And even if I did, I think I would have to have them all over the floor and stuff. And I don't really like having them on the floor. Um, so yeah, I think what I'll do is I will... So let me just go and quickly grab um, some stuff out of here and show you what we're doing. So we're going to build a ring of glowstone on the outside um, of the room. Just like a ring along here. And then we're going to put red carpet over it. And then the rest of the um, room is going to be white wool. So it's sort of keeping in with the pattern of having a dog on the front. So, yeah, it's going to be sort of like the red on top of the um, glowstone. is going to be a little bit like uh, the collar of a dog. And the white is obviously going to be the colour of the dog. Uh, colour, not collar, for the second one. I don't know what I said. I wasn't really paying attention. I can hear a drowned, and it's really distracting. Hello, drowned. Um, can't really see one, but hey, there we go. I can hear it. I can hear it, like, gurgling. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, like, come across him a little bit later in the video, probably. Because, let's face it, at some stage in this video, I'm probably going to fall down there. Because, I mean, I'm very good at doing that. Um, so, oh no, I'm not going to get you back either, am I? Actually, oh, yeah, it does give you four back. So, yeah, I, I can re just remake that if I need it, but I probably won't. Um, because I think I actually had a little bit too much. Uh, this one, I don't have enough white wool, though. Um... So yeah, let's just go and fill in these last two blocks here. And I have some white wool on me. Um, but let me quickly go and grab um, some more white wool out of here. Uh, just so then uh, I don't have to keep coming in and out. So uh, yeah, let's quickly... Um, I'm not sure what would be the best way of doing this. Um... Maybe if we go around like this and if we just keep doing it in like rings at one time because then there'll always be a bit of floor to stand on and then the more rings we end up doing the like wider the ground is so I've got like less chance of falling off and dying uh, which is it's always a good thing when you don't fall off and die I'm not gonna lie um, and hopefully I'm not gonna die either um, so yeah let's just quickly go and fill all this in and like, there are still, like, loads of things underneath this ground here. And what's that? What is that? Um. Oh, I think that was when I fell down when I was building the bed shop, maybe. So I had to pile up then. I might be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. But there's just a big pile there. There's quite a lot of stuff under the ground around here. From, A, like, when I've fallen down, I've had to pile up. Um. But as well, like, the old, um, rail that we had running along here. Because, obviously, I built over the big forest. And I had to burn a lot of the forest down. Um, yeah, like, th there used to be a big rail that went across here. And that big rail is, like, the actual... The thing that the tracks were on is still there. Because, like, you can see all the paths leading up to it and stuff. However, I like, there's a little bit of the uh, wood that it was actually sat on. Um, however, the actual tracks are gone, and I'm not sure what I use them for. I think I use them for the underground rail track, because for a while, I'm not sure why, I went through, like, this big thing of just loving building rails to different places. So you got the nether rail, you had the old sky rail, you had this rail, and then you had the underground rail, and I can't remember what that was called. Um... But yeah, like, we've had so many, like, different minecart tracks in this world. It's ridiculous. So let's just quickly go and break this way. Um, and not break the glowstone. And not place that there either. I don't know why I'm using a shovel. Um, but hey, there we go. So I need some red carpet. I think we've got way too much of this as well. Um, it would have actually been quite good if I had some red wool left over. But I don't think so. I don't think I do. Um, so yeah, that should be pretty good. So, let me go and build this all along here. And let's uh, just finish this off. And it'll look a bit like... Uh, because obviously you've got that design there and you've got this design going on over here on the floor. And yeah, I'd say this is looking like a pretty nice looking place. I still need to light up some of these walls. 
Uh, even though it won't make a difference because mobs can't spawn up there, obviously. Uh, it just looks nicer considering it's supposed to be the sky if it's actually lit up um, instead of just being really dark and then I guess that would be more of a night sky. Um, I'll tell you what we can do. I'll tell you what we can do. We can go and break this way here. We can place this there. We can place this there. And you might be able to see where I'm going with this. Give me a second. Boop. There we go. Um, let's just go and quickly break away this block. Because that's not supposed to be there. Um, and let's just go and add a little smiley face here. Because, yeah, even though I can't make it smile because his eyes are too low. So I'm putting way too much effort into this. I'm putting more effort into building this this face than I am the actual building. Um, so, yeah, let me go and quickly grab this. Uh, put that to there. And then can I reach the other side from here? No, I can't. Oh, I can break that away. Uh, I just need to go over there somehow. Uh, I've got more white wool than I do grey, so I can just quickly do this. Um, so yeah, let me go like that. And over there, and then let's break this way. And let's not use my shovel, because I don't think I still have any shears on me. Uh, because I think they broke when I was gathering all this wool. Um, so yeah, let me quickly go and uh, break away at all these. And um, not the happiest fellow in the world, is he? Um, let me quickly go and add this there, and add this there, and perfect, we have, we have a really happy face, even though he doesn't look that happy, but he's more happy than he looked without that, um, so yeah, why not, I guess, um, so yeah, oh no, let's not do that. Actually, I need to add all the torches by the pass on this side because I do them on every other um, brown block along the pass, and I haven't done that yet. I can hear a drowned. Can you hear that? I think it's underneath this building. Oh my goodness, you're so loud. Let's just quickly drop down here. There's one down there. Oh, he's there! Hello! Let's just quickly go and kill you. Uh, there's another geezer down there. So... He, they're so ominous. Oh, he's, oh, I thought he was holding a shovel. He's holding a trident. Slightly more menacing than a shovel. Um, but, I mean, not bad either way. Um, so, let me quickly go and grab this XP as well. I mean, it doesn't make any difference, considering like I have level 20 and I never enchant any of my stuff. Actually, I think I've got... Yeah, I've got unbreaking. Oh, mending! I didn't realise that on um, this stuff. So yeah, that should be pretty good. And what's this building over here? Oh, this is um, James's shed, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I see the amount of times I fell down here when I was building this then. Uh, let's quickly go and do some maintenance down here. Um, where would be a good place to pile up? Actually, where did I drop down? Drop down here. Did I? No. Just a random hole. Um, it's along here. It's two blocks down the drop. And can't find it. You're just going to make a new one. And it just piled up there instead. So, yeah. Uh, where was this other one? Was it around here? Um, wasn't... Uh, where was it? <laughs> I've lost the hole. How have I lost? Oh, here. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Hang on. Hello. Who are you? I think these are the new uh, traveling merchant villages from the new update. Hello. Let's just quickly go and uh, see how you are. Wandering trader even, not tra uh, traveling merchant. That's from Terraria. Um, so I get some podzol, um, for three emeralds, I can get some pumpkin seeds, um, for one emerald, uh, cactus for three emeralds, 
Uh, light grey dye for one emerald. Actually, get three light grey dye. That's not bad. Actually, it is pretty terrible. Sea pickles aren't that bad. Because I assume... Shut up, llamas. I'm talking. Um, I assume these will still appear in old worlds as well. So this is th these are quite good for getting like all the new stuff. So it'd be really cool to go and buy some stuff with these guys at some point and just see what other stuff they have to offer offer when you buy it. And I mean, can I get on you, llama? Oh, I can't get on the llama. But I want to. How about if I kill the wandering trader? Then do I get to keep the llamas? Um. I mean. Um. Hmm. Uh. I'm not sure if to kill him or not. Oh, this is very conflicting. Ooh, not quite sure what to do here then. Uh, how about we... Um, not sure whether to do this. Oh, no. Okay, right. Gonna do it, gonna do it, gonna do it. I committed, I committed, I can't go back. Ah, don't attack me. Don't attack me, llamas. Ah, okay, so I can get on them. And I can grab this lead. Uh, I've got 13 leads on me. And they don't even have carpets on them. What happens if I put carpet on them when they already have this pattern on them? It just changes the colour. Ah, oh, okay. That's a bit weird. Um. Well, okay day then. Oh! Oh, I didn't know how to get... I didn't know how to take leads off things without, um... Putting them on fences before. But you can literally just look at them and press uh, L2. I didn't know that. That's actually a really valuable piece of information. Um, what I will do is I'm going to take you guys with me because I sort of killed your dad. Um, but hey, there we go. Um, so, can you attach them to walls? You can't. Um... Any fences around here? Uh, there's a fence in the radio station. I know that. Where's the Where's the door? Where's the door to the radio station? Um, oh, these could be inside the thing. These could be inside the pet shop. Oh my goodness! Yes, I've got new stock. Actually, that sounds really bad. I just killed that owner, and I'm just selling them. That sounds really bad. However, um, hey, there we go. That's why the cookie crumbles. Uh, so let, let me quickly go and uh, turn a bunch of the... Why? Oh, trap chest. Um, so we don't need a loom, we need a crafting table. Um, and then I'm going to make a, a pen for them. Uh, then let's go and make some more wood here. Uh, let's absolutely boo-boo some fences down inside. Follow me, llamas. Um, you see... You're very big llamas. Um, so I think I need to break the wall to get you in. Uh, there we go. And then let me quickly go and place this back down here. So yeah, um, this is going to be your new home from now on llamas. So I mean, you can have a pen each. I'm not going to be that mean. Um, so let me quickly get you. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Let me quickly get you over here. Nope. Inside the pen, llama. Llama inside the pen. Okay, this this geezer's gone in. Um, go back, please. There we go. Um, very good, llama. So then we need to go and build an identical pen over here. And yeah, it should be pretty good. So if we go like this and then try and get you in there off your pop llama just get in there there we go this is now your new home perfect the animals are now for sale actually they're not for sale yet because we need a counter um so i'm just gonna do what i always do for counters because i'm unoriginal um i'm gonna go along here and i'm going to just add four blocks of these can i should i strip them um no, that looks terrible. Uh, how about if I do them this way, and then I strip those? Actually, if I take these, 
and I go like that, and then I place this there. How does that look? Um. Hmm. Not sure entirely, but what I will say is I need to extend this further this way, even though it will link up, um, because then this um, little pen here, I'm not entirely sure which animals are going to be in here, I'm not going to sell any horses, um, because Fredwick is the best horse, um, so no matter what, people are going to be disappointed. Um, maybe... Um... Dogs, we could sell dogs, I guess. Um, yeah, we could. Yeah, we've got a picture of a uh, picture. We've got a big model of dog's face on the front, so maybe that's not a terrible idea. However, we are just about to run out of time in this video, so let me quickly go and uh, make a door and then put it down. Make three doors, but hey. I never, like, end up using all three. At some point, I'm going to make a building that needs three doors. And it's going to be the most satisfying thing to ever happen. Like, it's going to be that good. But yeah, so, I would say, overall, this is actually a pretty nice looking pet shop. I mean, it's not brilliant. It's not the best pet shop I've ever seen in Minecraft. But, I mean, like, it fits in with the rest of the world. Um, and yeah pretty good <laughs> um 10 out of 10 15 out of 15 100 out of 100 uh, i'm not going to destroy that chest yet because normally i just let these items despawn um so yeah i thank you for watching the next video will be online next week as always it will be linked in the description once it is uh and goodbye